Hello everyone, thanks for watching my videos. It's greatly appreciated. Um, please subscribe and like the video um, if you like these. I'm gonna start to do a series of videos called Hack My Guitar, um, and this one is gonna be about the Floyd Rose. Just some things that you can do to your guitar. All the hacks are gonna be um, things that you can do to your guitar that are very cheap fixes, or with things you already have around, or with things that you may not even know you have a problem with, or it's been bugging and you're like, ah, I guess I just never could get that fixed. So um, one thing I do ask is that if you have any questions um, or want me to do anything else, put them in the comments. I'll write them down and I'll do videos on those. Some people ask really weird questions, um, so I may ignore those. But if you're asking me good questions, um, you know, I, I want to try to help everyone out there if I can. Um, I've got 30 years of experience playing out in front of people. Um, my band, this band that I've been in, which is one of many I've been in, has been playing out for three years. I play out every weekend, so I have to deal with problems. I don't have any kind of techs. I don't have any kind of roadies. Um, I'm running the sound at my gigs. I'm, you know, doing all kinds of things. So um, hopefully you can benefit from my knowledge and uh, not make some of the same mistakes I've made as well. So anyway, let's talk about Floyd Rose. This guitar, just to give you a little uh, intro, is a warm-off guitar. It was made to look like an Ernie Ball, but it weighs about a pound and a half more than my Ernie Ball. I have an Ernie Ball Axis. Um, I'm pretty sure Warmoth got sued for this body and for the headstock. It is just like an Ernie Ball headstock, the 4-2. Just that is probably enough to get sued. I think that's their patent, but the, even the style of the headstock is. Um, I have stainless steel frets, locking tuners. Don't need locking tuners, but I thought it would be kind of a cool addition. Probably makes the guitar heavier as well. Um, and of course I have a Floyd. I'm using PMS uh, pickup mounting system from FU Tone to mount these pickups. Um, I like the look of it even better than, I don't even mind that I have the holes there. It's kind of cool. This is my guitar. I've, as you can see, I made a mistake here on the 12th fret putting in uh, side markers. I put in glow in the dark side markers. So this is my guitar to kind of experiment with and do different things. But So anyway, this is also the one that's the least amount of bought products, I would say. I've done the most hacks to maybe. So anyway, let's start. Tip number one is the nut. So a lot of people have problems that when they tighten these down, that the E string goes sharp, and A string goes flat, D string goes sharp, G string goes flat. What that is is when you're turning and twisting these, that you're kind of making this kind of motion and it pulls the E string and flattens the A string, goes that way. So I always will flatten my E and sharpen my A just a little bit before I lock it down tends to make, make the, the micro tuning a little bit easier. The other thing, and this is something I just found out about, is the angle going over this, that's what the string tree is for. The string tree is to make that angle straight so that the strings are from, from this point of the nut to the string tree are exactly straight. If they're not, if your string tree is too high, when you go to lock this down, your string tree, your string might go like this and pull your string sharp. So if when you're locking down your, the nut, um, your strings are going sharp, all of them, lower your bridge or lower your string tree. That's a big, big tip. All right. Uh, another good tip is the tremolo bar. So if you see some white around this, it is plumber's tape. And what it does is it keeps this part from loosening when you're playing. Um, I've, I used to have that happen all the time. In the middle of playing, this thing would loosen and my tremolo bar would almost fall out. Putting that plumber's tape on there um, made a huge difference. If you take this off every time you put it in and take it out of your case, you may wanna put more on there. Start with like two wraps, it's very thin, thinner than you think, and then add wraps as needed. It will also keep the bar, the more you can tighten this down, the less movement in the bar you will have and um, I like mine to be at least a little bit loose like that. So anyway, that's another tip. Um, pro tip, I only have a down pull on my trum, never up. I would never use the up, unless you're playing Steve Vai, Joe Satriani riffs all the time. Um, I just don't see where it's needed. I've maybe only learned two songs in my entire life where I've needed to pull up 
and to me it's just not worth it so I'd rather bend the node up or do something um, on some other trims you can actually pull behind and pull up on the string here you pull up that way if you need to different this is a different kind of a Floyd so it's a little weird to go toe I think but anyway um, that's if I break a string it doesn't go out of tune detuner works perfectly as long as you have that there you can either set it so that it's flat on here or you can put the um, a brass trim stopper in the back um, I have the tr stopper it's a difference of like a half a millimeter probably but I like having that stopper there because I like to keep this as parallel as possible and then I let it go just a little bit further back so having the tremolo set up right it is all a matter of balance right so your strings are, the strings are pulling and this and the springs on the bottom are also pulling so you want to find that bounce to where it sits but if you have that stopper there how much more tension do you want in the bottom that's a big question that people don't think about so I found this on an Ernie Ball forum and it works for me maybe it'll work for you but at least it gives you a way to set up your guitars to where they will feel the same so what I do is I take the G string at the 12th fret and bend it up two steps all the way to this B. So at that point, my tremolo does not move. It doesn't move off the body. And if you see, when I get past it, it starts to move. Okay? That's where I like it. That way, if I'm bending notes on here, what you know a full bend or a one and a half steps the tremolo is not giving way because it feels to me like i'd have to go further some people think that that's a real stiff feel to the guitar but this is a 25 and a half inch scale so it just kind of depends on what you like you may like it to just be one step go to there and make sure and balance it and that's all a matter of you know tightening and loosening these the number of springs you have makes a difference in that um, you have to play around with that you might like this to be you know way into the body and only use three springs or whatever however you want to do it but play around and, and test that out every time you when you change your gauge if you use the same gauge of strings you won't have to do it but if you change your gauges um, you're gonna see a difference all the time so um, last trick is spring noise you may not even know you have spring noise but if you listen really loud or if you listen in headphones sometimes you'll hear these sometimes if you're just playing silently with no amp nothing you may hear these these uh, springs ring out and make noises that don't sound good this is just a little easy foam that came in i think it came with um a pickup some pickups i bought i cut it you can see it's a little bit wider and i tight i think i put like a uh, a bread tie kind of thing around it and pulled it through the springs it keeps these from making noise so that's a really good, cheap way to do it. Fu Tone makes some great springless uh, or uh, noiseless springs, which I have in my other three guitars. I love them; they're great. That's the Fu Tone brass stopper. You can probably buy something in a hardware store, but this is so cheap and so easy to put in; it makes it worth it. Um, like I said, I use a lot of the Fu Tone stuff. It's good. Again, just trying to give you cheap and easy ways to kind of fix your guitar. So hopefully. That will fix a lot of issues that you have or didn't even know you had with your Floyd Rose. If you have anything else, please put them in the comments. Remember, please like and subscribe. And thank you all for watching.